get busted over 1,000 Fortnite myths in chapter two. So I think it's about time to look back at the craziest ones like, can you rocket ride mechs? This is it, you ready? Oh. Yes, it worked, look. <laughs> the brute dab. Yes, no, I fell. But what we really wanted to know back in season seven was whether the UFOs are really as sturdy as they claim to be. We wanted to find out, can 100 players stand on a UFO? Without the UFOs have much better uses, as we tried to answer the age-old question, can llamas use launch pads? And when we tried this, we did not expect the outcome. Yoink. All right. Ready? It worked! Look at him, he's full! <laughs> oh my god, that was hilarious! <laughs> Look. Fred is a gold gymnast. But season seven didn't just bring us UFOs and somersaulting llamas. One of the most interesting creatures were the parasites. They stuck to your head and drained you of health, but we were wondering, could they stop a sniper bullet? All right, considering we don't have helmets in Fortnite, will this be the next best thing? It works! It actually works, you survived! All right, just to make sure it's not a glitch. <laughs> yeah, it, it worked. If only parasites are still around because they are pretty much sniper protective helmets. But there has been one thing in chapter two that broke the internet, and that was when Epic partnered up with Ferrari and gave us sports cars in the game. An amazing collab, but what people didn't know is with some skill, it actually answered the question, can you fly in Fortnite? Okay, you remember the uh, the quad crasher launch from uh, chapter one? Apparently it works with Ferraris now. Whoa, it's working! It's working, look Sammy, we're flying! We're not, we're not stopping. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna go completely across the map. We're still flying. Oh no. That was insane. How far did we go? We're not even on the map anymore. Who needs roads when your Ferrari can get across the entire map in 20 seconds? And heading backwards in time, we have chapter two, season six, which a lot of people call the bow season. And so one of the best parts about the bows is when we found out what happens when you combine a hop fish and a grapple bow. practically unlocked Spider-Man powers of Fortnite. It was one of the most fun combos we have ever seen in Chapter 2, and we'll probably never see it again. Well, maybe until the Spider-Man mythic comes out. And okay, sure, we felt like superheroes when we flew Ferraris around the map in Season 7, but there had to be a better way to do it, right? Well, Season 6 had us covered when it gave us chickens. Once we had those, it was time to ask, can you fly across the map with an exploding car? This was better than the Ferrari trick. But now we have to go back even further in time to season four, the Marvel season. One feature during season four that everyone forgot about was these Stark robots. And back then they were perfect for experimenting on, so we tried to figure out, can you lure Stark robots into rifts? And I know, there's no point in doing this, but hey, at least it entertained us during the season. And what we were really excited about was in season five when the Mandalorian came onto the island because we could finally pose the question, can Mando take on the IO guards? I mean, the IO guards were overpowered, sure, but the Mandalorian was literally a phase quick scoper, so we had to pit them against each other. The two most overpowered NPCs of Chapter 2 facing off against each other, and Mando 1v3s them? But we were all even more shocked in Season 4 because these shadows had not been in the game for a long time, so we wanted to know, can shadows do built-in emotes? <laughs> Horrifyingly, this one ended up being confirmed. And so we had IO guards in season five, Stark bots in season four, but the worst of them all was in season three. The Marauders were NPCs that just dropped on you could take out your entire squad, but we were all super excited when we heard there was a solution to this problem. There was a really popular rumor during the season that asked, can you land on Marauder Meteors and ride it all the way down to the floor? But we tried it over and over and well, it didn't work. 
But then we found out you could intercept the meteor with something like a choppa, and boom, you would insta kill all of them. I mean, look at this loot. It was so worth doing. And as we moved on to season four, there was one question on everyone's minds. We had Wolverine hiding in the forest and Shadow Midas lurking at the agency. So that left everyone wondering who would win, Wolverine or Shadow Midas? He's what? With Wolverine. Oh, that hurt me. Midas, shoot him. Midas! Let me tell you, it took forever to get Wolverine to the ruins, but as you saw, the battle was so worth it. And the myths just get crazier. Chapter 2 really had a lot of gems, like how we figured out, can you lead Aurelia through her own rift? Come this way. Let her run. She ripped it. She glides! We weren't expecting this to work, and she even had her own glider. I mean, who gave her that? But like all great myths, this one was confirmed. But one of the most insane things we've discovered was back in season four, when people combined the Iron Man gauntlet with crash pads. Turned out if you flew onto the crash pad with the repulsors, you would go flying across the map. It was a crazy combo, and I hope chapter three brings us more fun strats like this. And so was a myth around the upgrade bench trap from early chapter two. They used to be items that you could actually pick up and throw around. And back then we learned that if you threw an upgrade bench onto a reboot van, it would actually trap anyone who gets revived. Sounds overpowered, and it was. You could just hide in a tree and wait for your victim to get rebooted. And then boom, you got yourself an easy elimination. Myth was confirmed and shockingly overpowered. Still not as insane as a myth that we tried in season six. There was a rumor that you could combine a shockwave, chonkers, and a crash pad. So we gathered the items and got to experiment it. This was one of the most insane combos of chapter 2, but it still wasn't as fun as when we wanted to figure out whether you could create your own trampoline park for the wildlife of season 6. I mean, I had to know. And these myths just get better and better. Seriously, we had an absolute blast when it got to season 7. I mean, there was a lot to play around with, like how we tried to answer the question, can you hijack a UFO from another player? When we all figured out this myth was confirmed, it felt like Fortnite was getting one step closer to becoming the next Mission Impossible movie. I loved it. But back in season five, there was one question on all of our minds. Epic just added kill trading and bounties to the game. So we want to know if you had a bounty on each other, could you both kill each other at the same time? And it turned out we could. It would complete the bounty for both players and it still works to this day. Something that simply didn't work though is when we tried to find out whether you could drown NPCs by abducting them. And looking back, this was kind of morbid, but don't worry, NPCs can't actually drown. Same went for Iogard, so that myth was thankfully busted and I don't feel like a super villain. Chapter two is full of surprises though, and we felt super smart in season four when we wanted to figure out, can you boogie bomb mythic items? And you gotta understand, some of the mythics were pretty overpowered like the group baller or the silver surfer board. And it turned out that boogie bombing them was the best counter of the entire season. And interesting enough, all of these wild myths weren't just in the past. Season eight has had some great myths answered as well, like can you get to the sky barrier? Oh, it worked! It worked! I'm floating! What's going on? Ah! It's weird. It looks like I'm about to shoot a shockwave launcher or something like that, but I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Why am I just invisible floating above lazy? I'm stuck. Oh, oh no! I jumped out of the trash can! No! I mean, who knew caretakers could break the game that much? But it wasn't even the most shocking thing that happened this season when we tried to figure out what happens when you drive onto bouncers. 80 miles an hour clocked, max speed, and... Oh! Oh my god, we are flying! <laughs> and we sick the landing, let's go! No idea how we went that far. But even then, the season 8 mist just somehow get even more jaw dropping. You should have seen my face when we tested out the theory can you rail gun into the sideways? Alright, let's try it out with the normal gun. Ready? Doesn't work at all, it absorbs the bullets. But now we'll find you with the recon scanner and try it with the rail gun and. It works! 
Wow, that's actually, that's actually really useful. I mean, of all the myths of chapter two, this one was one of the most shocking. But on the other side of the spectrum, one of the most heartbreaking myths was back in season five, when we tested out the rumor that claimed you could see predators invisibility with Mando's thermal sniper. And we desperately wanted this one to work, and it seems like it should have, but no, he was nowhere to be seen on the thermal scope. This myth was busted, just like my heart. Luckily, it got over pretty quickly when we had to test, can you take a pack of animals into the sideways? Yeah, all right, come on, Wolfie, let's go. Here's some meat. Been a good boy. Okay, you ready? All right, go. All right the meat's in here. Come on, wolves. Um, are they coming in? I I, I see them. They're they're like right on the side. I don't know if they can. They're in. Yes, our wolves get them. We get them. My wolf. No. Yeah, they're not that effective. But come on, wolf. You you can win. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, he's running away. He's not about it. Okay, first the railgun, now wolves. I'm starting to think the sideways isn't as impenetrable as they claim. But on the other side of the map, we also had cubes at the start of the season, and everyone wanted to know, can you get flattened by them? Probably our number one question, and yes, it turned out you could get absolutely pancaked to death by them. And speaking of number one questions, back in season six, everyone wanted to know who would win a fight between an NPC and Raz. And so when we pit them against each other, it seemed like a fair fight at the start, until Raz came out on top and humiliated the NPC. But just before we get to the greatest myth in the entirety of chapter two, we have a quick honorable mention, and it's a myth that has just appeared this week. People are changing the system time on their PCs and consoles to try and cheat the live event timer for the end event. And rumor has it you get to play the live event early if you do this. So we tried it and obviously this one was busted. A complete myth. But something that we didn't believe at first and turned out to completely shock us was our number one greatest myth in Fortnite history. Can you go to Spawn Island with a UFO? Okay, yep, this is so weird. Uh, okay, no, now, all right, now it's fixed. We're just at Spawn Island. Let's go. Yeah, we got the bus. We're stealing the battle bus. It's, it's time to go. This is what you get for tipping 4,000 gold to give me nothing. And I can't believe this worked. It sounded like a myth someone would just make up, but it turned out to be completely real. And those are the greatest myths of Chapter 2. Thanks so much for watching, guys. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.